Hey there peeps, welcome back after a long layoff. Rampage Reviews is back with number 51. Uh, 2014 film, Matthew McConaughey film, probably the greatest actor on the planet at the moment, Interstellar. Let's give you a look at it. Okay, Interstellar. What a movie. <clears throat> okay, so Interstellar is about a post-apocalyptic world. Um, PG-rated film, mind you. Um, yeah, post-apocalyptic world where um, everybody is farmers because the world is covered in a big, thick blanket of dust and the human race could well be extinct quite soon. Um, Matthew McConaughey plays a farmer but used to be a, a spaceship pilot, um, engineer, just all round motherfucking hard ass and smart guy. Um, basically stumbles upon uh, the last NASA airbase and they want him to basically find a new planet through a black hole and make a new world so people can live. But plenty of twists and turns along the way. Uh, they chuck Anne Hathaway in there with short hair looking gorgeous as always um, for the effect that Gravity had last year with Sandra Bullock and it works, it pays off. You need that female element, you really, really do. Matthew McConaughey is brilliant and all but he's always better with a, another lead. Um, for example, True Detective and Woody Harrelson, brilliant. Um, so it basically goes through interstellar time portals, black holes, searching planets, big special effects, um, mad ass storyline that has your head twisted up to kazoo. Many people still don't know what the fuck happened in this film. I can't explain it, not going to on a review because you need to watch this film, people. You really, really do. This is going to take out some major, major awards. And um, Matthew McConaughey deserves all the praise in the world. Great casting. Um, oh, just just wait till the last half hour. Holy shit, your head. It's <clears throat> absolutely brilliant. There's not enough I can say about this film. Um, you know, it, it, it's not a 10 out of 10, but my God. They, they made it because they wanted it to be a 10 out of 10. It, it, I've given it less than I gave Gravity. I gave Gravity a 10 out of 10 because it was just so heartfelt. But this is pretty damn fucking awesome. And people tend to agree with me. Critics have given it a 7 out of 10. Um, you know, just because they like to criticise shit. Um, but the rest of the world has given it close to a 9 out of 10. It's got an 8.9 out of 10. That's huge. This could go down in history as even better as than the um the dark knight it's pretty fucking awesome for pg-13 um i've given it an eight out of ten interstellar matthew mcconaughey get out and watch it catches on the flip side peeps ciao and bye